What's good, y'all? It's your boy Ross back at again with another video, man. So we're gonna check out Botchamania 449, man. You guys have been loving me checking out some Botchamania clips. So I'm gonna continue this on as long as they keep creating them, man. This should be a good one. Appreciate all the love and support you guys have been showing on the channel. And let's get right into this, man. Alright. He's doing weird shit over there. <laughs> Alright, here he is. Good. He's always in the background doing No swearing. Alright. Three, two, one. Oh my god. Hello, this is Dan Housen here. Very nice, very evil. Very wasn't this guy like he was under the ring? I think it was, he was under the ring with uh, in AEW between Adam Cole and uh, Orange Cassidy. I think this guy was just under the ring, so I'm not sure who he is. I uh, let you guys let me know exactly what company he's from and whatnot. Famous now, anyways. You're watching Botchamania, and if you're not, you're cursed. Love that Dan Housen. <laughs> Whoa, bro, the, the effects, the little, the effects, that's funny, bro, <laughs> the little spraying effects, <laughs> that's funny, dog. <laughs> Oh, the WrestleMania sign. Yes, Kane's coming out. <laughs> Hope he comes out to his oh so great uh, slow chemical entrance. <laughs> that was insane. Yeah, you smell that shit too. It's like I think it's on fire. They're oh wow! <laughs> oh, they, got, they had to fix it. What manner of man are you that can summon up fire without flint or tinder? Eh? <laughs> yep. That's what happened. That's how it happened. It's on fire again. That's wild. And uh, poor WWE Royal Rumble hiccup leaves Randy Orton laughing on the floor. Now I'm just going to read this bit that I read online about what happened backstage at the Rumble. <laughs> it was recently reported how Shane McMahon was originally scheduled to come out at number 29 and Randy Orton at number 28. However, at some point, the order was switched and Shane reacted hastily. It was then that Orton told him he would not be walking out to Shane's music and that Shane should probably go out when his music played. A shocked Shane headed towards the curtain and expressed his displeasure when Orton sent him a, a verbal cue that he would not be going out. The word now is that the verbal cue was Orton immediately bursting into laughter at the error. Oh, wow. So the, <laughs> To the point where he fell on the ground laughing at the situation, quote, literally rolling on the floor, laughing his ass off. <laughs> Orton was able to compose himself pretty well to enter the Ben's Royal Rumble match immediately after that. The action was described as being in good fun after a hectic day. Hey, yeah, fun. Uh, they definitely needed some good fun after that debacle that happened backstage. Fucking bet. <laughs> Oh, wait, you're serious. Let me laugh even harder. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, my God. Wait, wait, wait. Here comes Coffee Kingston. Thank God. He's always drunk and violent. <laughs> oh, yeah, the bots. Oh, no. Bots. you got to be kidding me. Kofi. Came off the top rope. Kevin Owens sent him flying. Slow Kofi mo. Kingston. Oh. And oh. I believe he's eliminated. Oh. Both feet did hit the floor. <laughs> Kofi Kingston was eliminated. That was not supposed to happen, bro. Yep. I hate that stuff. Oh, wow. Out of action for over five years from WWE. It's Summer Rae. What? Her fifth Royal Rumble. She's been in all of the women's Royal Rumbles. Never won one. Now, how do you look at this? This is Angelo Hawkins, sports partner in the Street Profits. Is this? Oh, yes. Oh, what the hell? That's 
Why would you do that to you? That's bullshit. <laughs> we man. <laughs> <laughs> oh my fucking god! Oh, oh my god! Oh no, here we go! Yeah! Hey, we ain't nothing to the table when I'm the table. table. <laughs> I love it! Yes! That's my favorite meme. That is my favorite meme from Botchamania, bro. Oh, we gotta run that back. I love it. I love it. That's my favorite meme, bro. Oh, my oh I love God. it. This is my favorite meme. I hope they keep this going, bro. Oh, my. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I ain't bringing nothing to the table when I'm the table. <laughs> oh, I love it. Honoring the House of Black at a combined weight of 518 pounds, Malachi Black, Brewing King. Kings of the Black Throne. Knights of the Black Throne. He says here we're right. The Black Throne. Hit me with Greek mythology. This was a thing. This was a thing. Why was this a thing? This is why I don't watch Raw. In Greek mythology, who flew too close to the sun and fell to his death when his wax wings melted? Was it A, Apollo? Oh! B, Helios. No. You won't be able to fuck. That altitude, no way. This. No way. Supreme from no. the top! No! Supreme! Oh! Holy Ooh. fucking shit! C, Icarus. No. Oh! Oh! Or D, Pegasus. Oh. I think we've seen this one, yeah. I think we've seen this one. Oh my god. Sorry, I was falling asleep. What the? Rosa, <laughs> Rosa. You know, you know what I learned to do on fast foodies, Taz? Tell me, I can crack an egg with one hand. You're a stud. I can do it. I'm sure Thunder Rosa can crack Mercedes' skull with one hand. Great segue there, Excalibur. Oh segue, and I'm God. not Excalibur. This is Excalibur, but, but I'm spine first right to the guardrail. Oh, the announcers look the same. <laughs> oh, snap! Suplex on the oh outside. Oh my God. Uh, is that Mickey James? Uh, yeah, that is Mickey James, yeah. <laughs> oh, and that's a bad miss. Yeah, definitely a miss. Oh! That wasn't supposed to happen. <laughs> All right, well. <laughs> oh, no. Wow, this dude. Fuck <laughs> him! If there's one thing that we all know about Tony D'Angelo, it's that he talks way too much. You talk too much. Never shut up. I said you talk too much. Oh boy, you never I'm shut up. Guy. And we can see an end to the, to the reign of the first ever TBS champion here tonight. AQA. Yeah, I watched this live. Up, but Jade Cargill last up week. Her knees. And yeah, that was. Alexa, oh. I think the champ is getting impatient as hell. Oh, AQA wow. Up on the top. Push her off. Crossbody. Crossbody, Jade. 
Yeah. Nothing. The blade. <laughs> Got to start fast. Yeah. And that's not good. allow Ward to uh, Ward move. My God. This <laughs> is <laughs> <laughs> I definitely misspelled it. <laughs> Next up, it's time to talk about your match with uh, Kurt Angle. The third angle saw Jarrett spit in Angle's face. Jarrett then rubbed something in Angle's eyes and the bell rang. It rang early as this wasn't supposed to be the finish and they kept going, pretending there was no bell angle. Then bladed himself right as the camera had the perfect angle to see it. <laughs> Jarrett started punching the cut, violating his self-imposed rules. Angle was bleeding bad and the heat was good. A star and a half Poor Dave. I can remember being very upset later in the night when I was told, Hey, you may go want to go look at that. They got the wrong shot. They got the wrong shot of what? Uh, Kurt. What about Kurt? Um, <laughs> just go watch it yourself. And sure oh, enough, no. That was not a happy camper. I'm like, son of a. <laughs> they took the wrong shot by not previewing it. And I know it's live TV and anything could happen. Uh -huh. But knowing in between rounds is when it's going down. Stay wide. Don't get in close. Mm -hmm. Certainly stay away from Kurt's right hand. He's right handed. Those kind of things. It is what it is. Only takes a minute to oh, rejuvenate no. my razor with my razor gator. Razor gator. Oh. The rivalry that we said was born out of a contendership, then it went into respect, and now it has crossed that bridge over to sheer hatred. Wait. Once again, take it you, to the deck to the mat. definitely fucked it. Two king call by Thomas Cairns. Billy. We are approaching the final two minutes. Of he this definitely line. messed up there. Oh, they're getting to the games. Take Team Fortress 2. But that's the ruin part. <laughs> I like this. I like that they do this. <laughs> uh, so, one that didn't make your list, though, uh, is our final match the Absolute Championship. Defended for the first time by one PB Smooth, his first title defense yeah, this, as he takes on MJF. There was a lot of people that really tried to talk me out of the decision to put the belt on PB Smooth, and this was kind of like, uh, yeah, maybe I was wrong. Um, MJF uh, is bumping around like a madman in this one, and it's just the people were not behind it at all, and Damn. nobody could have cared less, and... This tombstone on the stage is just probably what I would consider like the worst moment in AIW history. Like I oh. almost left. Uh, oh, I literally almost walked out of the what building. What was uh, not, ap, ha, not having been there and seen it? What was so bad about? I it? I mean, you could find it's just bad. It's like it's like a set down. Oh, on, on I will give... my God, that was awful. Oh, no. That is the worst tombstone I have ever seen. The camera angle didn't make it any bit. Oh, my God. My inside baseball, I was asked if they could break the ramp. And I said, yes. Oh. You can break it. Okay. So I'm like, okay, here we go. They're going to yeah. go through it. And they couldn't have protected the ramp more. Yeah. And uh, I was just like... No, let me let's just let's just get it over with. <laughs> you know, it, I I was just happy the show was over, honestly. Mid 
That was definitely and me. And we knew that we were going to hear from CM Punk after his controversial victory uh -huh. over CM Punk uh -huh. last Wednesday night in Punk. I've been doing some thinking, doing some reflecting on my life and my career. The reason is it almost ended because of this. Oh, they didn't. They didn't show the clip. We go way back as annoying as he is, he can actually have. And we could not think of anybody better to officiate that match than the historic and legendary official Earl Hebner. Right now, wish me luck. I'm not the greatest with technology. I'm going to attempt to do a live, yes, live Zoom call with Earl Hebner himself. And there we go, we're getting a little bit of feedback. Earl, oh, are you there? Can you there? see me? Can you hear me? Yeah, I got you. Oh, you got it. There it is, Earl Hebner, everyone. Earl Hebner, legendary official. The legend himself, Earl Hebner, oh, my friend. Oh, I'm honored that you got me there. Hey, we're getting a little feedback there, people. If we could kind of help that out. Sorry. Sorry. How do you feel? How do you feel? It feels great. It's a great, uh, you know. Oh! Let's try that again. Can you hear me? Oh. Keep going, Earl. Well, this goes on for 12 more minutes. That was awful. Why? Not counting on the win-loss record for this man, Adam Cole. <laughs> I'm done, bro. I'm done. They are right now. No, Isaiah was granted this opportunity in this qualifying match after his performance Friday night, but now he is getting. <laughs> so, da ihr nun Teil unserer Mannschaft seid, oh, no. ist es höchste Eiszeit uns vorzustellen. Er hier heißt Walter. Das hier ist Walter. Und das ist Walter. Er hier ist Walter. 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 Und, ähm, ähm, Walter. Walter. Na gut, dann lasst mich raten. Ihr Name lautet dann bestimmt. Ja, das ist richtig. Günther. <laughs> I've lost a lot of things and one I know of them it's a job to help this guy and everything, but and I think this guy's a lost cause. And I know it doesn't He's mean obviously a whole lot made of his mind. Else. Why don't we just cut our losses and get out of here? <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> oh man. You're opening the contest to step for one ball. Ain't choosing first. Hey, everybody, look at this. It's that boy who laughs at everyone. Let's laugh at him. Oh. Angle now just needs to bring Shane back to the ring. Yeah, this is a classic segment. But oh my god. I am done with y'all, bro. <laughs> <laughs> I'm warning you. Okay, okay. <laughs> but there are some words that you can go to jail for. There are some words that we just have decided we will not say all the time. No swearing. Nobody even tells you when you're a kid what the words are that you're supposed to avoid. You have to say them to find out which ones they are. Shit! No! You swore! Oh, fuck! No! So smart! He's gonna get this taken off of the air! All I could think of was shit, piss, fuck, cunt, cocksucker, motherfucker, and tits. Damn! <laughs> Here comes the money! And at 28! Say no, Mac! <laughs> 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 that was everybody's reaction. <laughs>
Why do we have to stand here? This is so humiliating. <laughs> Introducing mouthful mode. Inhale a car to zoom around. What? Uh, hi, Mr. McMahon. I've been doing some thinking, and I got some ideas to improve the show. <laughs> I got it right here. Uh, one. Needs to be louder, angrier, and have access to a time machine. Two, whenever it's not on screen, <laughs> all the other characters should be asking, Where's the money? <laughs> Three. Great, great. Just leave them right there on the floor on your way out. Thanks, Homer. Great. Oh, oh my God. Smart thing. Yeah, this the legs. Way. Drop kick. Keith Lee finding out that uh, Cassie's not wrestling a slinky. Oh, Keith Lee, though, so quick. He ran right through the clothesline. <laughs> oh, my God. The shoulder blocked Isaiah out of the ring. You hear that all the way? They were worse. Whoop on Dungeon Style. Oh, my God. Dungeon Style. <laughs> because everyone, at the end of the day, they crave certainty. And there's one thing that is certain. I will become. I will be. Uh, Y'all are stupid. Y'all are stupid. Wrestler kicks out of a move that never ends matches. Their opponent. But that could only mean. <gasps> <laughs> that is so true. Opponents being there, oh, shot. Like, how? This is great. Yo, this is this is great. Love this episode of Botchamania, man. Looking forward to the future ones, man. Comment down below. Let me know what was your favorite clip from this video. Y'all already know. I ain't bring nothing to the table. When I'm the table, I, that's my, I love it. Every time they bring it up, man. So, appreciate all of the support. Road to 70K. Appreciate y'all kicking me. See y'all next one. Peace.